So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So in this video I thought I'd pull some uh, Kisna tickets while talking about them. And as you see, I have a mythical number displayed here, the infamous 99999 or, well, we're close to 100,000. So this is the amount we had before when we had the... Uh, Kisna ticket bug where you could get infinite tickets. Basically, if you got above this number, you literally couldn't go lower. So I have a bit more than this. Like after Kisuna, I lacked like a few hundred tickets, but with the reward, I hit this. Uh, one thing to note though that I will show you is that this bug has been fixed. But I has actually posted that they fixed it as well in like the Kista post stuff like that stuff that nobody reads like who cares but yeah let's first show that it has been fixed and then talk about the implications of that so yeah like even if it has been fixed like i don't look forward to pulling all of these tickets it's still going to take a lot of time and i'm going to get some decent like in terms of experience and such it's going to be nice don't really care about much other stuff i can get like sure some tablets but i get plenty of those from treasure map anyway so not a huge deal to me but yeah kisna tickets are basically some good mix of fairly low value stuff and as you see there i drop below 100k and the thing I want to discuss here is the fact that uh, this has been fixed because you'd think that by fixing this, Bandai would reverse some changes they did. Because if you remember, like we used to get a lot more keys than tickets before. And by a lot, I'm talking like basically 100 times as many tickets. As far as I know, the growth rate has basically been nerfed by like. 99% it might be 90% I don't remember exactly but it's insanely low anyway so we used to get a lot more rewards so like take the tickets I got this time for example like even without a, a negative ticket bug I will have got an insane amount of tickets and sure you could argue that getting like millions of tickets is a bit busted I don't really think so myself, but you could argue that. And then you, I will say back that, okay, so you can change the ticket rate a bit. You don't have to absolutely demolish it, which is what Panda has done, basically the nuclear option. And basically what this means is that, basically, well, let's, get, let's go back to why it is. So basically, they, they found out that people who got above 100k had infinite tickets. What did they do? Well, it will take time to fix this bug. So in the process, they just nerfed the ticket growth so that nobody will realistically get above 100k. Obviously, we were able to get to that this last Super Boss. Uh, both My Alliance, TRA, as well as... AF, the Assault Force, they were both able to get about 100k, at least some people, not exactly everybody. And yeah, we weren't really aware by them that they had actually fixed it. Like if we had paid attention to the news, we'd know. But we were pretty unsure. The main reason we were unsure was the fact that the ticket rate was still so bad. We figured that the ticket rate nerf was temporary while they fixed the bug but then they fixed the bug and they haven't fixed the ticket growth rate to me that's a massive scandal and it just keeps building up the pressure that i feel is on kisuna because there is more bad than good in kisuna i feel like it's in dire need of overhaul and i don't think that many things in this game needs an overhaul I don't even think that uh, a grand party needs an overhaul, it needs some changes, but Kisuna needs some big changes in many ways, and most of them are about the rewards. But I also think there are other issues like the balance of difficulty, stuff like that. Like, 
Banda should probably try and do it so that the bosses don't cap at uh, 999 billion HP because with the ongoing power creep it will be easier and easier to get close to that. See it just makes it a bit of a joke. I'm not saying I want damage infinite but maybe I do but if in case that the HP keeps going up forever I'd very much like the a growth rate of Kisna, super, Kisna bosses in general to be a lot more balanced than it is now. Now it goes up way too fast. So you might as well start at 909 million H HP. At least if you're in a big top aiming alliance it's very fast to get to that point. You barely are at lower levels. And most alliances that have 10 active players can get to that level even without spending a ton of potions. But yeah, back to the original point here. They basically fixed the bug that made them nerf the ticket growth rate, but they still keep the ticket growth rate insanely low. I don't get it. Like, just fix it, like, just do it. There's literally no argument to keep it this bad. Like, uh, Bandai are insanely lucky that people love this mode because there's so much to complain about. Like, the news that Trash Map was getting yet another rehaul from me, it's like... <sighs> like, it's basically the most well-managed mode in this game with very good uh, rewards if you put in the time. And even if you don't put in the time, you get a lot of good rewards. Basically, the opposite of Kizuna. But people just like the gameplay more of Kizuna, I can respect that. But for me, gameplay and rewards are closely linked. So if one is bad, it kind of falls over to the other. So I really love them to put more effort in this. We also have the never ending discussion that keeps being brought up. Bandai knows this, they started to make minor changes. Basically we're talking about newcomers getting the Kisna uh, tokens for the Kisna shop, like still insanely hard to get them. They've started to like put some on sale for half price, old six plus gold stuff like that. But that's not enough. It still takes it takes literally years to get every single six plus. That makes no sense at all. And it's not like it has a ton of good rewards for OGs. So. I still stand by what I always say, box 7 should just get a lot of Kisna tokens just to help newcomers because eventually they will be able to do a good run in Super Bowls, like go hard, get a lot of tokens, be able to go through box 7 a few times and being able to go through box 7 a few times should definitely let, net you quite a few 6 pluses. And that in itself can make this mode a lot more appealing to newcomers. But yeah, that's just what I wanted to show you. And you see, it does take some time, but not as bad as I thought. Maybe I can even finish this today if I just keep pressing. I do want to get this out of the way before we get all of the new stuff happening. I don't know when I release this video, but I'm recording this before we get the next batch announced. So we just had the tease of an um, Uta legend probably coming on Twitter. But yeah, I think I said all I want. So I think this is a good place to stop. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.